1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time Assalamu Alaikum This is Radio Pakistan The news read by Ali Ahmed First, the headlines In a statement on occasion of International Human Rights Day Foreign Minister has called upon the world parliamentarians to raise voice over the serious human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Foreign Minister says basic human rights have been usurped in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and there is a complete communication blackout there. 56 more patients died of coronavirus in the country during the last 24 hours. Pakistan Navy has once again assumed command of Combined Task Force 151. Now, the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Qureshi says basic human rights have been usurped in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and there is a complete communication blackout there. In a statement on the occasion of International Human Rights Day today, he said the foreign media is not being provided access to Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and the reports being received from there are was concerning. The minister said Pakistan kept apprised the United Nations Secretary General, the President of the United Nations, Security Council and other world leaders of the grave human rights situation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. He said minorities in India are holding protest demonstrations and India's perception a secular state and the largest democracy of the world has been badly damaged. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said the world parliaments need to raise voice over the serious human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. He said we are also informing the world about the threat of a false flag operation from India. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Senator Shibli Faraz, has urged the world's champions of human rights to take notice of the worst tyrannies being committed against innocent Kashmiris and the gross human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In a tweet on International Human Rights Day today, he said practical steps also need to be taken to hold India and its occupation forces accountable. The minister said Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir has been turned into the biggest prison of the world since 5th of August 2019. Pakistan has called upon the international community to hold India accountable for serious crimes against the Kashmiri people and human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In a statement today on the eve of International Human Rights Day, Foreign Office Spokesperson Zahid Hafiz Chaudhary said this day is an occasion to reaffirm our resolve to respect and uphold human dignity and to promote the human rights agenda without any distinction or discrimination. He said India must be called upon to accept a United Nations Commission of Inquiry for an independent and impartial investigation of the situation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and fully respect the human rights and fundamental freedoms of the Kashmiri people. The spokesperson said India's gross and systematic violations of human rights in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir have been comprehensively documented in the two Kashmiri reports of the United Nations Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights as well as by the United Nations Special Procedure Mandate Holders, International Civil Society and the media. He said the world must focus oppressed people in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir who are being denied their inalienable right to self-determination for over seven decades and facing gruesome repression at the hands of Indian occupation forces acting with full impunity. Meanwhile, on the occasion of the World Human Rights Day, a research section of Kashmir Media Service has released a report that Indian trips in their unabated acts of state terrorism have martyred 95,728 innocent Kashmiris, including 7,155, in custody since January 1989 till date. 56 more people died of coronavirus in their country over the last 24 hours. According to the latest statistics, 3,138 people were tested positive during the last 24 hours after conducting their tests of 40,202 people. 
The figure of the patients recovered from the virus has reached 374,301. Pakistan Navy has once again assumed the command of Combined Task Force 151. According to the spokesperson of Pakistan Navy, the change of command ceremony was held at the Combined Maritime Forces Headquarters, Bahrain. Among others, the ceremony was attended by military and diplomatic dignitaries, including ambassadors of Pakistan and Turkey. Earlier, the command was held by Turkey, while Pakistan Navy has held already this command for eight times. Addressing the event, commander of the Force Commodore Abdul Munib said Pakistan Navy will continue to work for peace and stability in the region in collaboration with navies of other countries. The combined task force 151 ensures maritime security and controls piracy and terrorism. The Park China Joint Air Exercise Shaheen 9 is in progress at an operational airbase of Pakistan Air Force. According to PF spokesperson, the contingent of People's Liberation Army Air Force, comprising combat pilots, air defense controllers, and technical ground crew, is participating in the exercise. Shaheen 9 is the ninth in the series of joint air exercises, which is conducted each year in both countries on alternate bases. United Nations General Assembly has approved Pakistan's four resolutions aimed at strengthening regional and international peace and security. The resolutions were recommended by the 193-member Assembly's Disarmament Committee, where the texts were adopted by overwhelming support of its membership. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gv.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official